Yo, what's up, guys? 35k subs. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for the noob train. Well, today we're going to be making a dungeon quest video. This time on how to beat the top five most difficult, hardest bosses in dungeon quest. Before I begin, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And there is a chance of winning a legendary Sakura Katana. Without further ado, let's get the party started. All right, heading on in, we have the Kovamar. And he makes it on the list mainly because of the area that you are given fighting this boss right here. He himself isn't too difficult, his patterns aren't too unpredictable, but you are limited on space. When you're just soloing this by yourself, it's a little bit easier to fight, but when you have a lot of people, then we might have a problem there. First off, let's just head to the left to lure our mob in. We're gonna lure the boss really close to us, and then we're gonna go one step back at a time. Bait out these pepperonis, make them come closer and closer to us one hit at a time. We're gonna use him to paint up the entire room of red circles. You can literally prevent yourself from ever getting hit if you time yourself correctly. Just like that. We can also even draw an L with his circles. There we go. Did we just draw an L right there? Yes, we kind of did. Uh-oh, watch out. One attack there, and then we're gonna back up one step, and he's gonna be finished off pretty soon. Yeah, he's definitely not a difficult boss. Just be careful when you're playing in a group. Stick together and use the sides. Using the sides means you have much more room to maneuver. We got you, boy. We got you, man. Okay, so here we are with the ancient golem guardian right here. He looks like a King Kong. I'm going to teach you guys how to beat him. We're going to go in from the right side. These circles are pretty RNG, so you do have to make sure you have enough HP to avoid them. There's one more thing to worry about, and that's that big circle when he hits his feet. What happens there is it blows out the sunburst kind of stripe. The further you are from the middle, the better. If you have a warrior skill or mage skill that gives you a little bit of a bonus speed, do make sure you have one to avoid to get out of these RNG green circles. Okay, here it comes again. Watch out. Now we go in. We throw a range attack. And then we're going to go to the right. Be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we're going to hit him a few times. Now we're going to run away because I can sense that green circle right in his feet. There we go. Once again, I'm going to throw out my range attack. Of course, as a mage, you do have a lot of range. But at this point, if you're playing Samurai, you have both skills. I do recommend using more range than melee. Just because you can avoid that big burst. And you only need to worry about these RNG green circles right here. Oh my gosh. What the heck? This is difficult. <laughs> Alright, I'm back once again. <laughs> this is good that I'm not playing hardcore or else I'm going to take forever for this video. Anyways, now we're going to throw out a few more range attacks to finish him off. We're going to go in for a final spin because we know we're going to be able to beat him. There we go, guys. All right, so links on the list, we have Demonol as of right. And he's a pretty darn difficult boss. Probably the hardest one in Underworld right now because of his phases. He pretty much has two phases and a huge HP pool to break through. So I'm going to teach you guys how to avoid. Watch out for the sunburst, of course. Be careful. The cherry bombs come on next. Then the zebra stripes. Always watch out for those. You might forget those sometimes. Alright, so I changed my skills as well to pretty much emulate underworld dungeon skills only. I'm not going to use any samurai skills here. We're going to hit the boss. Be careful for that. And then watch out for the cherry boss. We're going to drop one attack and run. This red circle is not dangerous anymore after his initial sunburst attack. So you're pretty safe running on top of that. We're going to keep striking here, attacking here. As a major warrior, you can choose to attack his hand, but I do think it's more efficient to attack the body when there's not a lot of people around when you're trying to solo. But be careful, the closer you are to that circle to his left hand, his left, your right, then the sunburst has a higher chance to hit you. Now, this is the most difficult part for this boss right here, because when these minions scatter up, when there's too many of them, they will go into rage mode. And what happens is then they run super fast, and you pretty much can't outrun them. You probably take a hit just like I did. Yeah, I told you it was a hard boss. I mean, yes, if I have all my samurai gear, I will finish this boss in seconds. But like I said, I lower my damage a little bit, my armor a little bit, so I can put myself in a position that's a little bit more similar to yours. Oh my gosh, these guys are tough. <gasps> Whoa, okay, I keep oofing here. It's going to be a tough one. And, and it's really hard to really like come back from it just because if you're at this point, these minions will attack you right away. You might not have cooldowns. Your speed's not fast enough to 
run from it. So try to like just quickly, quickly attack the heart the best you can. If you have to keep looping, come back again and again. Break the heart so you can eventually stop the heart from spawning minions. I just want to get close, please. Just let me. Gosh dang, leave me alone for one second. If I had a group of friends, you guys wouldn't be so cheeky. All right, one more attack and we can get rid of the heart. We have two minutes to spare. It's not a big deal. Okay, we got rid of it. It won't spawn anymore. And it seems like, whoa, watch out for the stripe once again. Then what happens next? All right, we have a little bit of a break right here. So we can throw a few attacks. Watch out for that burst right there. <gasps> We're safe. The further you are away from that circle, the better it is for you. Then watch out for the cherry bombs. Once again, the stripes are coming out again. And throw a few hits out there. We're going to finish this boss off right away. So I would think the mages would have an easier time because of the range attacks that the mages have. So there we go, guys. Mages will have a pretty easy time as well. This is not going to be too different. And we did it. And here we go. Heading on in one of the most difficult bosses right now. Mr. Sonata Yokimara. This is the first boss in Samurai Palace. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Anyways, I'm gonna teach you guys how to beat him this way. First off, we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna hug the wall right here. We're gonna find our path all the way to the boss. And we're gonna throw a few hits out there. Watch out for these little minions. These minions aren't too difficult to avoid. These elite swordsmen. Whenever you see them come over, you do have a second to dodge that circle. It's not too difficult, but it's the addition of the stripes and those beams that makes this boss so difficult, right? So we're gonna throw a few more hits out there. We're gonna spin a little bit, get out of the way. And I'm gonna throw another hit. All right, this is good. There's no shame here to try to kill these little minions if you have the free time. Throw a few whacks out there, you're a warrior. But if you're a mage, definitely save on, on your cooldowns. If you're a mage, save your cooldowns for the boss. Spin a little bit, avoid that damage as well. Run around. These things, like I said, are not a big worry. We're gonna finish these guys off easy peasy. Here's a tip for you guys. If you guys are playing in a group, definitely feel free to have a tank stand around here. Bait out those three separate individual beams. Bait out, bait out those, um... Bait out those three bonus beams that are gonna be in the back. Right here, these three bonus beams is what usually kills you. It's hard to avoid when you're too close. And if you're soloing, I do think that you should stand a little more in the center. Kind of avoid the bosses that way. Uh-oh, watch out here. Watch out. We're a little low on HP. We're not too worried right now. This guy's not too difficult to avoid. Uh-oh. What was I saying? What happened? Gosh dang. Kelvin, stop bragging. <laughs> you could have finished him off. Stop playing around, man. Once again, guys, do not worry about these stripes too much. You can definitely have room to run across them. I don't feel like they're too much RNG right here. There's always a way to get out. I would say this boss is definitely a little more difficult than the Archmage, but the stripes do take a tiny bit longer to actually take an effect. Okay, we are done playing around here. Let's finish this boss off. All right, these guys, don't worry about them after you beat the boss. Like, they would not stop your progress. You could finish them off, but yeah, let's just, let's just do that. So here we go, Mayimoto Masashi, the most difficult boss voted by you guys in Dungeon Quest right now. Personally, I don't think he's too big of a deal, but I'm going to teach you guys how to beat him. So once you start off coming in, make sure you straight right, left, get away from those beams. The further you are, once again, you're safer. Then you want to keep looking for smoke. You're going to keep your range. You can do a few hits, save a speedy attack to get away. But watch for that smoke. When that smoke happens, he summons a fidget spinner. That fidget spinner seems to be the, one of the more difficult things about this boss right here. Because without a speedy attack like a cyclone or the illusion blast, you're not going to easily get away. You do have to predict his movements. So we're going to keep strafing left and right, rotate around him, keep our range for now. Going for a little bit of a melee, but pull out when we see that smoke. We want to get as far away as that, from that smoke as possible. Then watch out for those beams. These laser beams do hurt. Then we're going to stay away, far away, throw us some more range. These random stickers are a little bit annoying, but we are not too concerned about that right now. We're the most concerned about that fidget spinner. We're going to go under the waterfall, throw a few hits out there, one more range attack. Now we're going to close in and try to get a spin on him. I see a smoke. We're going to pull out once again, and then we're going to run. Now you can't catch a stupid fidget spinner. Now we're going to finish him off with one last range attack and BAM! There we go. GG, bro. GG.
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And of course, did you find it? You find a secret message. Good luck, y'all. Oh yeah, don't forget to turn on your notifications. Until we play again next time. Peace out, y'all.